How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. I got no other questions. You know, like, <laughs> my first two games of the year, I know that you put a good plan in place this sure. season and you had a vision for this thing. Did you expect it to pick like this? So early? You know, I, I think mostly you're, you're just trying to win pitches, and I think that has been a huge focus for us. Um, the good news is, you know, they've done that and they've, they've stayed they've stayed the course, you know, and, and I think the leadership of what Coach Sarlos is doing and the program that he's building here is it's so easy to follow in terms of doing the right thing, being competitive, and, and Kirk does a great job leading us all and all we have to do is follow his plan. So I think a, lo a lot of the credit goes to the players, a lot of credit goes to Kirk. Yeah, I just I think you know you're trying to you're trying to instill a lot of you know with me being brand new too. You're you're, you're I'm learning the culture and learning TCU, and then you're, we're all in the same boat together. I told the guys that yesterday. For the first time, you have an old team with a with a new offensive coach. We're, it's a first time for everybody. So I thought that was pretty unique. Um, but with those guys, you're just trying to bring them along in the culture as fast as you can. Um, the good news, you know, like I said, Coach Sarlo's been here for 11 years. You know, he's won a lot of games here. Um, he's recruited a lot of good players here in Benoma a billion times. So just following his lead and trying to get those guys up to speed in terms of the expectations here. And, and then obviously, then we get into the offensive stuff. Six steals today. I think uh, Eli beat out a few throws. What, did, what were your thoughts on the team speed today? Well, I, I thought, you know, during the middle of the game, I, I just, the one thing that's underlooked or, or overlooked, I guess, is hard 90s. And I, I think that's what happens. It's the first thing you do, um, you know, in, during the fall, you know, how to run from home to first. And I thought those are big deals for us. They didn't turn one double play. I don't, I think they may have turned one. Um, but we beat out some balls that allowed us to get extra guys on base. Um, we got RBIs out of them. So I think, I think you can't underestimate and those things running the bases hard and that was been a big deal with coach Moziello, right I mean um, there again you're walking into a system that's been put in place um, and, and a lot of this stuff was already instilled in them so a lot of credit goes to Bill as well. You guys stayed aggressive both on the base pass and laying up on like keeping up big how important is that against a good team like Arkansas? Yeah I, th I think I think you know, a lot of what we're trying to do is is be super aggressive in certain counts, and, and I thought they've done, they did a good job in some counts, um, kind of sped us up and slowed us down in some counts. But I think, you know, a tribute to our players, they they they've done a lot of work on themselves. Um, they've done a lot of work in terms of seats, video, and, and plans, and all that stuff. So. It's it's all those guys. They they've done all the work, and it's just really fun to watch them watch them do what they do. We have the best seat in the house. Yep. Well, I think the one I think the one thing is is or Klecker gave up a home run, and then he got to strike one the next pitch. Uh, you know, Hackett did the same thing, gave up a home run right here in the ninth, got strike one the next pitch. I just think those are huge victories. They're such. There's such small details that get overlooked, but I think they're huge deals. But I thought they came in and pounded the zone, and the other part is they act like they've been here before. And that's hard to do when you got 20,000 people here and you're playing Arkansas, it's the first time. But uh, I thought those guys did a heck of a job, but there again, it's, it's the leadership of Kirk, and that's what we're all following. 10 plus walks today. What do you think of the team's ability to uh, have patience at the plate, but also extend innings? Yeah, I thought they did a really good job. You know, I thought yesterday, what happened yesterday, um, kind of carried over today. You know, we scored 10 runs yesterday with two outs. That's really hard to do. Um, and I thought the same today. I thought we just fought to see another pitch, and that's been a big deal um, for us is, is win every pitch. Uh, you know, and the great Dave Snow um, were, is where my background comes from, but he had a saying, be where you need to be when you need to be there. And, and that was something um, that we've been preaching quite a bit offensively is be into that pitch at that moment at that time and I thought they've done a really good job doing that. Man they're 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 good players. I mean it's it's been really fun to watch them evolve over time. Um, even just the seven months that, that we've all been together, it's been really fun to watch them, um, I, I guess, mature and, and grow into their roles. Obviously, Eli 
and AD have been around the Big 12 a while and have been really good players, but to watch them stay super patient, um, but also, you know, we've allowed them to, to jump some guys in certain counts and try to evolve the offense that way. And I thought they've done a really good job doing that. But I, I'm most proud of, is of Eli is that last at bat. I mean, it, you're up, you're up by a lot, and there again, I think it goes back to winning pitches, and he won every pitch in that at bat, and that's hard to do for a lot of people. But with our guys, they've really bought into each other, and they've bought into Coach Sarlos and what he's teaching and what he's doing. Um, so there again, I can't say it enough. We just we just follow suit. I stepped in late, but Cole Flecker, I thought was mm -hmm. kind of a stabilizing factor for you guys. How big? Performance. Yeah, I, th I thought, you know, Camp Brown's going to get so many more opportunities, and Camp Brown's a really good arm, and Camp Brown's going to pitch for a really long time. It just He just had one of those days, but I thought um, the ability to have our bullpen um, come in and Klecker come in and stop and stop what w the momentum, what was going on, and, and I was really impressed with he came out of the pen and threw a first pitch breaking ball, and that's really hard to do in terms of, like I said, the situation going on, the atmosphere, um, but the ability to do that just shows you exactly how great our pitching coach is and our head coach. You've beaten uh, a couple of good SEC teams mm -hmm. two nights in a row pretty soundly. I mean, could you have asked for a better start, you think, for your team? Uh, I mean, we're, you know, we're trying not to get caught up in, in who we're playing. Um, it's really just about us playing the game. And, you know, at the end of the day, we'll look up and, and see what happens. But we're just trying to win every pitch. Uh, we're trying to do a really good job being in the moment and just and playing the game and taking the opportunities that are given to us.